The seven last words of Jesus are the final sayings or phrases spoken by Jesus Christ during his crucifixion, according to the Gospels. These seven statements are considered significant in Christian theology and are often meditated upon during Good Friday services and other religious occasions. Each saying contains a powerful message and reveals Jesus' deep love, compassion, and sacrifice for humanity. Through these last words, Christians are reminded of the profound significance of Jesus' death and the ultimate gift of salvation that he offers to all who believe in him. 1. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Luke 23, 34. This saying is an expression of Jesus' divine mercy and compassion. Even in the midst of his own agony and suffering, he is asking God to forgive those who are responsible for his crucifixion, including the Roman soldiers and the Jewish leaders who had condemned him. Jesus understands that these individuals do not fully comprehend the gravity of their actions, and he extends his forgiveness to them in the form of this prayer to his Father. This statement also reveals the depth of Jesus' love for humanity and his willingness to forgive even the most heinous sins committed against him. It is a powerful reminder that forgiveness is a central tenet of Christian faith and that it is through forgiveness that we can find peace and reconciliation with one another and with God. It teaches us to follow Jesus' example and to extend forgiveness to those who have wronged us, even when it is difficult or painful to do so. 2. Truly I tell you today you will be with me in paradise. Luke 23, 43. This saying is spoken by Jesus to one of the criminals who was being crucified alongside him. The criminal had expressed faith in Jesus and acknowledged him as the Son of God. In response to this, Jesus promises the criminal that he will join him in paradise that very day. This statement is a powerful demonstration of Jesus' grace and mercy, even in the face of intense suffering and injustice. It shows that Jesus came to offer salvation to all who believe in him, regardless of their past mistakes or misdeeds. Additionally, this statement teaches us about the nature of eternal life and the importance of faith. The promise of paradise is not just a future hope, but an immediate reality for those who have faith in Jesus Christ. It shows us that our eternal destiny is determined by our relationship with Jesus and our willingness to place our trust in Him. Overall, this statement is a testament to Jesus' incredible love and compassion for all humanity, and it serves as a powerful reminder of the hope and salvation that is available to us through faith in Him. 3. Woman, here is your son. Then He said to the disciple, Here is your mother. John 19.26.27 this saying is spoken by Jesus from the cross to his mother, Mary, and to the disciple whom he loved, traditionally believed to be John. In this moment, Jesus is entrusting the care of his mother to John, and by extension, to all believers. This statement is significant because it shows Jesus' love and concern for his mother, even in the midst of his own agony and suffering. It also demonstrates his desire to ensure that she is cared for after his death. Additionally, this statement reveals Jesus' close relationship with John and his recognition of him as a faithful disciple who would fulfill this important role. Furthermore, this saying is significant for all believers because it emphasizes the importance of caring for one another and building community. By entrusting his mother to John, Jesus is exemplifying the importance of looking out for the needs of others and fostering a sense of belonging and connection among believers. It reminds us that as members of the body of Christ, we are called to love and care for one another as family. This statement reveals Jesus' deep love for his mother and his desire for all believers to care for one another as members of a larger spiritual family. 4. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Matthew 27, 46, Mark 15, 34. This statement, spoken by Jesus from the cross, is one of the most powerful and poignant of the seven last words. In this moment, Jesus is expressing his deep sense of abandonment and despair, calling out to God the Father in anguish. The words, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me, are a direct quotation from Psalm 22, which is a lamentation by David. By citing this psalm, Jesus is drawing on the tradition of Jewish lament which allows the speaker to express their grief and pain in a raw and honest way. This statement is significant because it shows the extent of Jesus' suffering on the cross, 
both physically and spiritually. It reveals his humanity and his willingness to identify with the pain and brokenness of all humanity. Additionally, it reflects the profound mystery of the cross, as Jesus, the Son of God, experiences a sense of separation from God the Father. Moreover, this statement teaches us about the nature of faith and the importance of trusting God even in the midst of suffering and doubt. It reminds us that God is present with us in our darkest moments, even when we feel abandoned or alone. Overall, this statement is a powerful reminder of the depth of Jesus' love for humanity and the extent of his sacrifice on the cross. It teaches us about the reality of suffering and the importance of faith in the midst of our struggles. It also offers us hope, reminding us that God is with us always, even in our darkest moments. 5. I thirst. John 19.28 This saying is one of the shortest of the seven last words of Jesus, but it carries a significant message. In this moment, Jesus is expressing his physical thirst as he hangs on the cross. The significance of this statement is not just in Jesus' physical thirst, but also in its spiritual symbolism. Throughout the Gospel of John, Jesus uses the imagery of water as a metaphor for eternal life and the satisfaction of spiritual thirst. By uttering the words, I thirst, Jesus is not only expressing his physical need for water, but also his spiritual longing for the salvation of humanity. This statement reminds us of the humanity of Jesus and the physical and emotional pain he experienced during his crucifixion. It shows his willingness to identify with our own physical and emotional needs and offers a message of compassion and solidarity for all who suffer. This saying also carries an important message for believers, reminding us of the importance of our own spiritual thirst for God. It invites us to recognize our own need for God's presence and to seek spiritual nourishment through prayer, worship, and other spiritual practices. Moreover, this statement is a powerful reminder of the physical and spiritual suffering of Jesus on the cross and an invitation to recognize our own spiritual thirst for God's presence and grace. It offers a message of compassion and solidarity for all who suffer and invites us to seek spiritual nourishment through a deeper relationship with God. 6. It is finished. John 19.30 It is finished is one of the most significant and powerful of the seven last words of Jesus. In this moment, Jesus is announcing the completion of his mission on earth, which was to offer himself as a sacrifice for the sins of humanity. By saying, it is finished, Jesus is proclaiming that he has accomplished what he came to do. He has lived a life of perfect obedience to God, and he has willingly offered himself as a sacrifice on the cross to pay the penalty for the sins of all people. The work of redemption is complete, and salvation is now available to all who believe in him. This statement is significant because it shows the finality and completeness of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. It signifies the end of the Old Covenant, with its system of sacrifices and offerings, and the beginning of the New Covenant, with its promise of forgiveness and eternal life through faith in Jesus. Moreover, this statement offers hope and comfort to believers, reminding us that our salvation is secure and that we can trust in the finished work of Christ on the cross. It invites us to rest in the assurance of God's love and grace and to live our lives in grateful obedience to Him. This saying is a powerful declaration of Jesus' mission and the significance of His sacrifice on the cross. It offers a message of hope and assurance for believers and invites us to live our lives in response to the grace and love of God. 7. Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Luke 23, 46. This saying is one of the most significant of the seven last words of Jesus, as it marks the moment of his death. In this statement, Jesus is placing his trust in God the Father and surrendering his spirit into his hands. By using the term Father, Jesus is affirming his intimate relationship with God and his confidence in his love and mercy. He is demonstrating his willingness to submit to God's will, even in the face of death. Through this statement, Jesus is setting an example for believers to follow, reminding us of the importance of trust and surrender in our own spiritual lives. This statement is significant because it reflects the ultimate sacrifice that Jesus made on behalf of humanity. He willingly gave up his life in order to offer salvation to all who believe in him. 
By committing his spirit to God, Jesus is showing us that death is not the end, but rather a transition to eternal life in the presence of God. Overall, this saying teaches us about the power of trust and surrender in our relationship with God and reminds us of the ultimate sacrifice that Jesus made on our behalf. It is a powerful statement of faith and a source of comfort for believers, offering the hope and assurance of eternal life in the hands of a loving and merciful God.